Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rabiana. And today I have a wig unit sent from Arabella Hair. Thank you guys so much for sipping over this wig. I think I reviewed for them like three or four times at this point, but let's go ahead and get into the hair packaging. So you get a satin baggie, a couple of free gifts like hair clips and eyelashes. And then you'll also get a baby hair wrap. You guys can definitely use it if you need it. I never really do but it's always there if you need it. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into the specs of this wig. This is a chocolate brown wig unit in 26 inches, 180% density, and this is a 13 by four lace frontal wig. So lately I have been receiving these types of wigs that have the same type of cap construction. So this one does not have any combs, you guys. And it also does not have, have any of the built-in adjustable strap that usually sits at the nape of your neck but it does have that detachable adjustable strap so i'll talk about that further along in the video but i do want to let you guys know that i am showing a demonstration tutorial okay of me cutting around my ear tabs because i feel like i need to show it often for my wig sales some people are really confused as to why i cut into my wigs and stuff like that so i'm going to be referring back to this video so people can see it so let's just jump into that as you guys can see, this is the wig unit. Also, as you guys can see, it is over my ears. It's sitting over my ears. So I have to cut into my wig unit. <laughs> I have to cut into my wig unit. I'm just saying because I would like for my hair to go behind my ear. I would like to do just like this and my hair be behind my ear. I can't do this if I keep this like this. So you're gonna have to cut into your wig unit. Straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up. And around my ear. So I can take this, I don't do anything to it. It's still gonna be sitting on top of my ear. I'm gonna show y'all what this looks like underneath. The cap is right here, there's lace right here. So I can literally just take this and just cut up further more because it's still sitting on my ear. So I can cut all of this off, but for the sake of time, <laughs> look, I'm trying to get to where I'm going. This is what it looks like. Now you guys can see, I can put my hair behind my ear. This is what it looks like behind my ear. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this side. cap you guys and because I cut into my ear tabs it basically disconnected from the cap so it's no longer snug on my head there's no combs in here there's no additional adjustable strap there's no built-in adjustable strap there's no combs it's just literally the detachable one so yeah this could not definitely could not be a glueless wig unit at all but they're not marking it as such. But I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this wig unit on.
up my hair glue down i'm then going to go in with my foundation and just rub it across my hairline so that it can blend and after i did that i did still see that i had a white cast so basically what i'm going to do is go in with my even wonder spray and spray around my hairline and then it'll melt that way so that's pretty much all that i did there um and yeah so i do want to let you guys know that i did go in with my foundation before i came on camera um however if you guys noticed before i cut the lace that the lace was a little light so just letting you guys know but other than that with this wig unit the only thing i felt like i really had to bring to attention is that the cap construction didn't have any combs and things of that so it's just that detachable so you know just keep that in mind if you do if you guys don't mind then this is a good wig for you so i decided that i was going to do a middle part so i'm just parting my hair using some mousse i do have these products down in my amazon storefront um the renee brand sent over some like products from their style collection and i've just been using it in my hair pro in my hair videos um and i actually really do like their products you guys so i've been using them as as of lately so if you ever see like this blue bottle pop up in my hair videos it's the renee brand and yeah so i use their foamy mousse here i'm spraying in some shine mist because i knew that i was going with the straight look so i was like i'm gonna do a sleek shiny look um, and I also did go in and use their heat protectant, I think. And I don't know why I did that because if you guys notice <laughs> while I'm like flat ironing my hair, I have to go in like several times because my hair is wet and it's like curling up the hair because this is a body wave texture. But um, I got it as sleek as I possibly could, you guys. So yeah, as you guys could see, I was in like different clothes. <laughs> at the beginning of the video so i had them went in and like passed through my hair once again i believe when i was doing this hair review i was trying to hurry up because i was trying to make make it to my um pilates class so yeah um but anyways that's pretty much all that i have for you guys i actually really do enjoy the chocolate brown hair i think it looks really good on um deeper skin tones you guys so if you are around my skin tone check out the chocolate brown colors this is actually not my first time that i reviewed chocolate brown but i feel like they always come out really really good for me because i remember at first before they were like you know starting to get a little buzz on youtube hair youtube i didn't think that i would really like <laughs> the chocolate brown color because i thought it would be too matchy with my skin tone but actually you guys it's pretty cool like i really, really do like it so let me know what you guys think pretty basic um hair look or whatever just try to get it as straight as possible and as you guys can see i'm literally passing through this hair so many times because of that heat protectant so yeah let me know what you guys think i'll see you guys in my next video Okay.